Every 40 seconds, someone in the United States suffers a stroke, and many never fully recover, losing their independence, their memory, and their ability to speak. And here's the shocking truth. One of the biggest triggers is sitting on millions of dinner plates every single day, and this food is a stroke ready to happen. Stroke is one of the most devastating events that human body can ever experience cutting off blood supply to the brain tissue within minutes and leaving permanent damage. And what most people don't realize is that the foods they're putting on their plate every single day can silently set the stage for that catastrophe. So today I'm gonna show you the physiology, the nutrition, and the hard science behind how this happens and what you can do to protect yourself. Because the truth is, that one particular food, highly processed meats like bacon, hot dogs, deli slices and sausages, are loaded with sodium, nitrites, saturated fats, and advanced glycation end products that inflame your vascular system and accelerate atherosclerosis. When you ingest these compounds, your endothelial cells, the inner lining of your arteries, get irritated and dysfunctional losing their ability to produce nitric oxide, which normally keeps the blood vessels flexible and relaxed. And as stiffness and inflammation sets in, LDL cholesterol, low-density lipoprotein, these particles become more easily oxidized and embed themselves in the arterial wall. And over time, you build unstable plaques that can rupture, causing a blood clot to lodge in a cerebral artery and trigger an ischemic stroke which makes up nearly 87% of all strokes. Research backs this up with a large European perspective investigation into cancer and nutrition. The study shows that every additional 50 grams per day of processed meats increases the risk of cardiovascular mortality by 18%. And the American Heart Association has repeatedly warned that high sodium and nitrate-rich foods increase stroke incidences by elevating blood pressure and thickening the arterial walls. Now let's get to the physiology of blood pressure because sodium overload from these foods pulls water into your bloodstream, increasing plasma volume and putting greater pressure on our vessel walls. And this constant pounding wears down the delicate endothelium like sandpaper on soft tissue. While at the same time, Saturated fats and oxidated cholesterol particles are embedding like glue, creating a double assault. Take a second right now. Feel your pulse on your wrist or your neck, whichever you like. That steady beat that you feel is what feeds your brain every second of your life. It's suddenly cut off because of a clot formed from years of damage. That's the silent danger that these foods create. And when you combine this with sedentary lifestyle, insulin resistance, or smoking. The inflammatory cytokines go through the roof, platelet stickiness rises, and suddenly your blood pressure is primed to clot at the very moment a plaque fissures. So what do you do about it? First, drastically, you must eliminate these processed meats and replace them with anti-inflammatory endothelial healing foods. Leafy greens like spinach, kale, and arugula are packed with nitrates that convert into nitric oxide. Nitric oxide opens up the vessels and lowers blood pressure. It restores arterial flexibility. Berries like blueberries and strawberries are rich in anthocyanins that reduce oxidative stress. And omega-3 fatty acids from salmon, flaxseed, and chia seeds stabilizes plaques and reduces clotting potential. Garlic and onions are another one of my favorites. And this thins the blood and reduces platelet aggregation. Turmeric's curcumin fights vascular inflammation, and even a simple handful of walnuts or almonds daily has been shown in clinical studies to improve endothelial function and lower LDL oxidation. If you really want to protect your brain, add daily movement like calf pumps, brisk walking, or even standing breaks throughout the day because these keep blood moving and prevent venous pooling. While hydration is so important because it maintains plasma volume, it reduces viscosity, making it harder for clots to form. Remember, stroke is not just about age or genetics. 
It's largely about lifestyle choices and cumulative damage. And the powerful truth is that by cutting out that one stroke ready food and replacing it with circulation friendly nutrition, you can drastically reduce the risk starting today. And the science is clear. Your arteries can heal. Your endothelial cells can rebound and your brain can stay sharp and alive for a long, long time. But only if you act now. Imagine losing the ability to hug your children, to call out your spouse's name or to walk across the room all because of a bite of food that could have been avoided. Don't let this happen to you. Protect yourself, protect your loved ones and start today because your future self will definitely thank you for a long, long time. I hope you enjoyed this video and please share this with your loved ones, your friends. Please leave your comments below and most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.